Every day, your nephron needs to reabsorb almost all of the sodium that's filtered here at the glomerulus. The way it does that is really interesting, and we'll talk about it a lot. But first, let's talk about exactly where it happens throughout the nephron. So actually, most of the sodium is reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule, and that's about two-thirds, or 67%. So that's in the proximal convoluted tubule. And then in the next segment, in the loop of Henle, about 25% of the sodium you want to reabsorb is reabsorbed. So if you add these two up together, you'll see they're equal to 92%. So that leaves 8%, which is reabsorbed from both the DCT, the distal convoluted tubule, and the collecting duct. Now, if you're eating about a gram of salt every day, you want to end up excreting a gram of salt every day. If you're eating five grams of salt every day, you'd rather excrete five grams of salt every day because you're trying to keep a balance. Now, it turns out that the most important part of the kidney for governing this balance is this last section. If you're on a low sodium diet, this last part of the kidney is going to crank up its reabsorption of sodium so that you excrete less. If you're on a high sodium diet, this last part is going to reabsorb less so that you excrete more. Now you're always going to want to reabsorb the vast majority of the sodium you filter. And so these first two parts of the nephron are kind of like the workhorses that reabsorb that huge chunk of sodium. And then this last part is the one that puts the finishing touches to make sure that the amount you excrete is balanced with how much you're eating. Again, you're probably very curious how this works. And we're going to talk about that a lot in upcoming videos.